Hey guys, welcome back. Now eggs are something everyone loves. Well, almost everyone. And luckily they are one of the easiest things to cook. But surprisingly, boiling them to perfection can be really tricky. Getting the center soft or medium isn't as easy as you might think. And that is where this weird looking gadget comes to the rescue. If gadget reviews, DIY projects and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. All right, so the package is pretty simple. It says color changing egg timer, changes color as the egg cooks, sits in pot with eggs, soft and hard boiled eggs cook perfectly every time. Now that is a very bold claim. On the back are some guide images and some points which kind of answer some of my doubts that I had. In my unboxing video, I said I'm not sure how it will cope with different sized eggs, especially if I put them in the pot together. But it says here perfect eggs regardless of egg quantity or altitude. I'm assuming the altitude means size over here. And it also says senses heat, not time for consistency. So that's promising. Here it is out of the packaging and uh, it's quite hard. I mean, not even a bit squishy, almost like glass. It has a flat bottom, unlike what I thought initially when I saw it on the website, but I guess it makes more sense this way. The red heat sensitive layer is just a sheet in between with the markings. One thing I'm still confused about is the guide on the back of the packing. For soft, it actually shows that the marking has not even reached the first line of soft. Similarly, for medium, it shows the marking is on the soft line. For hard, you don't need much help from any tech. I mean, you just leave it there for 10 minutes and it's a guaranteed hard boiled egg. Anyways, I will just go with the lines for the sake of experiment. So I've designed two experiments to test it. First, I'm putting three medium eggs into a pot with the timer gadget and then turn on the flame. Then I'll wait for the mark to reach soft and then remove one egg and place it in an ice bath. Then the same with medium and hard and finally peel them to see our results. I'm starting to see a white line appear on the borders and it's just been a minute or so. All right, about five minutes later, you can see the red circle has reduced to a line with outer soft line. And now I'll remove one egg and dump it into the ice bath to stop it from overcooking. I'm also going to mark all the three eggs so I know which one is which later. Another three minutes and we have reached the medium mark. And another one leaves the pot. And finally, after about a total of 12 minutes, we have our hard boiled eggs. Now time to get my hands dirty. First step, soft boiled. Now peeling them is a real pain, like chunks of the white are coming along with the shell. I have to be extra careful here not to spill the yolk. Not at all a big fan of soft boiled eggs. I think that's enough. Now I'll just poke it with a knife to see how's the yolk doing. And we have success. I guess this is pretty much how a soft boiled egg should be. The white is slightly soft towards the inside and the yolk is nice and runny. One point for the gadget. Moving on. All right, we have the medium now. This is much easier to peel. A big chunk just came off with a shell. This is a sign that it is still soft in the center. This time I'm going to slice it right through the middle. And as you can see, the white is nicely set. The sides of the yolk are set, but the center is still slightly soft and runny. Good enough medium boiled eggs. One more point to our contender. And finally, the third egg, hard boiled. Now I can get aggressive with this one. Just give it a good roll, crack and peel. The shell is coming right off in big pieces. And with all my experience with boiled eggs, I can tell you with confidence, this one is fully cooked. And slice through the middle. Nice, fully set yolks and white. That is how I like my boiled eggs. Slice it up, put it on a toast, lots of hot sauce, fold and eat. Well, that was three for three. I mean, all the three eggs turned out exactly as they should have. And uh, 
I cannot help but give credit to the timer. I mean, it worked perfectly. All right, now for the second experiment, I'm gonna place three eggs, different sizes, small, medium, and large, into a pot with the timer. And this time, I'm gonna remove all three at the soft mark. If it can get the soft consistency right, then the rest is easy. Once again, as soon as it reaches the first, no, in fact, this time I let it pass the first soft mark, but just a little bit and not reach the second soft mark. This time I want the white to be completely set. Once there, I'll remove all the eggs and dump them into the ice bath for five minutes, and then it's time for the results. Okay, first up, small egg. Well, this turned out fine the first time, so I'm pretty confident. Not very easy to peel as usual, but uh, yes, soft boiled as expected. In fact, this time you can see the whites are a little more set and the yolk is still nice and runny. And this thing is really starting to impress me. Medium size. First impressions are solid, much easier to peel. This time I'm gonna slice the top right off. And yes, look at that. This is like a Wikipedia image of a boiled egg. Solid whites and a soft runny center. And finally, the large egg. If this one comes out right, you should buy this thing right now. It is much easier to peel than the smaller one. I'm not sure if that is because of the size or it is from a different farm. Once again, I'm gonna slice the top off. I should have sliced a little more. Anyways, once again, the glass orb has not failed me. This is perfect. Just like the other two, the whites are nice and firm and the yolk is soft and runny. Three different sized eggs, yet they turn out to be soft boiled at the same time. I honestly didn't know that was even possible. Well, that was a pretty messy day, I'm not gonna lie. And now I'm left with six boiled eggs. But first, I need to get rid of this smell from my hands. Final verdict. Awesome. This thing has surpassed all my expectations. And I didn't even have many to start with. It works exactly as described. Same and accurate result repeatedly. Doesn't give off any weird smells or infuse any weird taste into the eggs while cooking. And $4, you'll never have to go wrong with boiled eggs again. It doesn't have many aspects to test, but for what it's made, it gets a perfect score from my side. I'll leave a link for it in the description box below in case you want to check it out. Here is some eye candy for taking out the time to watch my video. That's it for now guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Instructables. All the links are in the description box below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.